Hi, my name's Scott Jessup. I go by Skippy. And a couple days ago at church, I was actually talking with uh, one of my friends about how my beard is starting to get a little bit longer. And uh, we were talking about our favorite person with a beard currently, and that's Brian Wilson, the pitcher for uh, the San Francisco Giants, the baseball team. And we were thinking, though, that how great his beard is because it's big and full and black. So as I, I was like, would I really go through with it? And sure enough, I went to uh, the supermarket, and today I picked up Just for Men. Now, that's jet black. That's a very handsome black man right there, right? Okay, so hopefully, if everything goes well, my beard, whose name is Conan, by the way, because my beard is awkward and red, will be as nice as this man's beard. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, by the way, I was working at Five Bike Pizza, so I just got off. So the very first thing that we need to do, since I've been working, is to shower it up, right? Okay, so that's step one. And then once I'm done showering, uh, we'll see what the directions are and try to apply this and uh, hopefully go from this to this. Yeah. Okay, so uh, something interesting to note while I'm showering, and yes, I really am showering. There's the water running, and here's my awkward... Oh, by the way, there's my hair heart. See, I shaved the uh, heart into my chest hair. And uh, I might even dye that too today. Who knows? Anyways, I want to point out that I try and keep very good smelling, right? So there's my Aqua uh, That's my body watch. And then I'm going to try and zoom in over there. That's my Aqua cologne. Now, I'm not sure if you can really tell it, but that is my toothpaste. And yes, that's a high school musical toothpaste. So, all right. So, yeah, you're uh, with me in the shower. I've got uh, the, we're washing the beard. Got my hair, because this is how you style your hair before you wash it. And um, I'm going to stop recording right now, and when I get done, I'll be fully clean and ready to uh, dye this beard. Uh, the Matt Lewis band, sure, aside from the fact that they're one of my favorite bands of all time, it's going to be because hopefully this color of jet black is going to match my shirt. So when uh, the Jesper Men matches the shirt, then we will know that we have uh, succeeded. So, uh, okay, I'm going to pop it open and uh, read the directions. Okay, so um, we're going to go down the list of what it says here. Um, can you see that? What you need, and then it takes you step by step like that. Okay, so the first thing says what you need. A timer, clock, or watch. Okay, so I've got my cell phone there. There's that. An old shirt. Okay, I'm uh, wearing that-ish. Um, old towels. Got uh, towels right here. Okay, and then it says a damp paper towel. Okay, got that. And it says shampoo, preferably for color treated hair. Okay, I've got that in there. It says important wash face after application, not before. Well, I kind of screwed that up, didn't I? Okay, so then it says wearing gloves, squeeze a lime from color based tube into mixing tray on one side, and then squeeze an equal amount of color developer into the mixing tray on the other side. Okay, so we're going to do that. This says it's going to happen in about five minutes. So I'm going to put a little bit more in, then I'm going to start applying, and then we'll see where we're at. Okay, and then now uh, let's see. Time-wise, what we got? Okay, so it's 11.58. We'll see how this goes. We'll check back in about five minutes or so. Okay. Okay, I thought you should be here for this part. going to actually start applying it. So I've got my big mirror right there. Okay, we're trying to go jet black on this, folks. We want the whole beard to be jet black. You know what? I'm going to need to empty the whole tube because I'm just about out of it. Now, by the way, I read and it says it cautions you not to use not to have it on for longer than five minutes, otherwise it might stain darker than you want. And I don't think that's possible, because I want it really black. At this point, my only fear is that I won't have enough to do my chest hair. Or my entire beard. Alright, looks like I squeezed it, it down to the last drop. 
Let's turn it on. Okay, mixy, 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 mix. I swear this is like cooking, only this is gonna be on my face. That looks almost like McDonald's honey mustard sauce. Okay. Oh, well, I might do the little soul patch there too. It's probably gonna stay in the skin. You know what? Let's not leave the mustache out here. Here we go. You know what? This is dumb. Let's get the eyebrows in on this. I feel like Bob Ross. You guys remember him? He's dead now. But uh, Bob Ross, when he would be like, and here's a little tree here. Yeah, this is not feeling smart, but well. Okay. I'm probably waking up my parents because, you know, it's after midnight and I'm being loud about making a black beard. By the way, yes, it's starting to burn. Okay, I'm making an executive decision right now. We're going chest air. Okay. I know I'm gonna ruin my shirt a little bit. Sorry, Matt, with this band. Okay. Let's get it off in three, two, one. Oh, crap. Nope. Yep. Black on it. Okay. Let's see. Can you see that? There's the chest hair. Might have to. No, oh, anyways, I got boobs. Let's chest hair it up. You can't tell, but I'm also doing the chest hair around my belly button. Who else dyes their belly button chest hair? Now, next thing to do, let's check how long it's been. 12.07, holy crap. <sighs> Man, that is black. Okay, so... I was reading it, and uh, the last thing it says that it wants me to do is it wants me to now wash thoroughly my uh, facial hair. And check that out. You guys got to see this. This is kind of fun. There. Oh, but then I went down to the belly. Okay, so, yeah, I'm not in that great of shape. Anyways, so I'm going to go shower again, only this time I'm not going to invite you guys in. But when I get back, this should be amazing. Okay, so... I decided to put on a shirt since I didn't want to gross myself out with uh, the image of my shirt off. Besides, I could see my chest. It turned out okay. I'm not going to show you that again. But uh, I closed my eyes when I got out of the shower so I couldn't see myself in the mirror. And I went in, put on, you know, shorts again, shirt, and then I put on this. So when I look into this little viewfinder on the side of my camera, it will be the first time that we both see me with the black beard. Are we ready? This must be what face transplant people have, what they go through. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hmm. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's horrible, isn't it? That's awful. Cause see these, but this will go away, right? This crap around here. All the mistakes I made. Oh, and there's the eyebrows. The neck. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I introduce to you. This is Shaft Wilson. After Shaft, the cool black dude in the movies, right? And Wilson, after Brian Wilson, the pitcher from the San Francisco Giants that I'm trying to make this look like. All right, guys. I think we're done. Thanks for uh, joining me on this journey. And uh, when you see me next... You will be introduced to Shaft Wilson and my body hair. See, it's a heart. It's a black heart.